learning uh, and performance into seven categories, arbitrary, arbitrary categories. Uh, the first of which is they say psychological block. If the kid was told from young that English is foreign language to her, to her family, and uh, she should not learn English, then she will have a limitation thrown into her mindset. And then, when she comes across uh, words in English, she will hold back, right? not let go, and learn uh, to a maximum capacity. So, we can overcome that uh, with uh, our techniques of tapping, so, uh, which is called energy psychology. That is psychological block. Emotional block, one of the biggest blocks in most of people's lives. You get emotional. Uh, I have an example uh, of a schoolgirl whose family quarrel, uh, the two families quarrel, they are related and they are not allowed to communicate with each other, she and her cousins, and she cannot study because the emotional block is so strong, you see. So when I removed the block, and she automatically went back to study and got an ace easily. Uh, and this emotional block remains the biggest block of all time. Uh, if a girl gets scolded for, for not doing her homework, uh, you go back and then she will you know, get angry about it and the anger will block her from learning. Mental cognitive is another one which is uh, manufactured by the cognitive process. And uh, for example, if the father says things that the Mess is difficult. And he tried to impress his son. And he said, he's telling from very young, he said, Mess is very difficult. I failed before. You surely failed too. And the son took it as a statement of authority. So he will also fail maths. Cultural thing. I put cultural loosely because uh, sometimes they fall under other, other categories. This case of a teenage girl who was afraid of chicken, live chicken. And uh, whenever she saw a chicken crossing the road, she would go to the other side. And this affected her in the sense that in the classroom, there's always a feather duster. And the feather duster was placed next to her, close to her. Uh, and whenever she see the feather duster, she couldn't concentrate on her studies. So when I spoke to the teacher about it, removed the feather duster, she improved a lot. Why is she afraid of the chicken crossing the road? When, when, when the, she was visited by the chicken before, I think. Packed by a chicken before when she was young. Yo, like that one? Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> These things you never realize, you see? Ah. Unless you interview them. Eh? I see. Ah. And then energetic meridians. This is uh, in uh, traditional Chinese medicine eh, and Indian medicine. There are, there are things called meridians uh, running around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 and uh, they are fully energy. And each of the stop is like a train station. If one train station doesn't pass on to the next station, then it gets jammed. And we notice that there are, uh, a lot of children's uh, meridians are jammed. We have to uh, design. I mean, the design means that uh, there's a fault in the manufacturing process or whether they have it. Uh, acquired uh, or uh, developed it, we don't know. But there are blockages along the way, which unless you clear it, you will block the performance. Things like, even I've seen uh, little boys who cannot write a full sentence because somewhere along the line they got a, they got a block and they cannot uh, continue with the sentence. Neurological is similar, but it affects the nerves more than the meridians. The different system. Oh, the meridian is not nerve, it's something no, else. No, different system, yes. Meridian is a system by itself. Okay. So there are 300 over points and meridians in the body. Uh, neurological is from the nerve system, autonomic nervous system, uh, and that, if it is uh, overloaded, uh, it can cause a lot of uh, nervous problem. Uh, and then expressivity, expressivity uh, block is like uh, expression, uh, a person having stuttering 
uh, things like that, uh, stammer uh, can be healed quite easily within uh, three sessions, if you know how. That's because the meridian flow, the energy flow of the merid along the meridians are blocked again. And uh, I've, I've done a lot of the cases like this where they, when you know how to smoothen out the, the, the meridian pathways, uh, this will, re 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 uh, will become, get uh, healed uh, very quickly. Uh, the, the kids who come to me with uh, 12 years old, 14 years old, with problems like uh, expressivity, uh, where they cannot express themselves without stammering. Uh, we smoothen the flow of the energy along the meridians, and then lo and behold, they are back at normal. Now, I would like to bring attention to something called geopatics. Have you heard of geopatics? No. Okay. Geopatic. I think uh, most of the world haven't heard of it. Uh, this geopatics refer to uh, earth radiation. Hmm? Earth, earth radiation. radiation. Yeah. The radiation sent out from the earth. This magnetic field. Uh, it's electromagnetic. It's not the composed magnetic field. Right? Uh, yeah, there's not the not just the magnetic side, there's the electromagnetic. It's got both uh, frequencies. Okay, and uh, it has done no more damage than uh, people realize. I gave a talk a few months back called "Sleeping with the Enemy," because we are actually sleeping with the next to the enemy, which is the radiation. It runs two sets of the big ones. Around the world are 45 and this 45 degree and 0 90 degree to the north. They are about one meter apart from this parallel line there, eh? one meter spacing, and they occur all over the world. Now I'm going to show you to you to prove to you it exists. And what it does is if it exists and it cross line and you happen to sleep on the cross line, let's say the head here and sleep on the cross line well this will mark the spot where the person is going to have cancer of the brain wow. you know, but under circumstances, uh, circumstances what are the circumstances that I can predict, uh? for example a, a gentleman uh, who slept over his drawing area over the cross for at least two years sleeping there and uh, two years before he was diagnosed with the cancer prostate cancer two years before diagnosed he was got a traumatic event which kick off kick off the kick off the critical illness what kind of traumatic event it could be like huh? death, death of a family member, I see. Uh, something very traumatic to his life. Hmm. Uh, and that will usually kick off the point where the critical illness starts. And it will, it will continue to last at least with an overarching stress. Eh? It means general lifestyle is stress. Eh? Uh, I can guarantee you, you have one of the critical illnesses. In this case, if it's over, it's growing, it will likely to be prostate cancer. I see. Because but how can you detect the line? Uh, I'll show you in a moment uh, how to detect the line. Let me just complete this one. Eh? Uh -huh. If the person, let's say, what is it related, how is it related to, let's say, the performance, the peak performance? Eh? Uh -huh. This is if sitting over the position. If the person sits over a position in his chair, where he spends many hours a day, also has a cross line. Eh? Mm. It's been proven eh, that he will have a clouded head. Clouded head. Clouded head? Uh, Why is it clouded head? That means that the, the head are eh, like uh, heavy every day. I see. Uh, and then you can't think clearly, you know. Uh. You need, like for you, for example, eh, you are a counselor and you think very clearly every day. That is, that is the standard that you use, you see. Uh, anything less than that, eh, then they uh, clouded the head. Uh. I see. And then there is critical illness. Uh. These two 
Jangan gitu There are at least about 30 over critical illnesses That can be caused by this thing you see? I see So if the person sits over the same chair Can you imagine? He will get the illness If there's a traumatic event occurring lah, Two years before he gets triggered off the thing lah. Okay This is uh, from uh, one point of view lah. And the other point of view is that From the feng shui point of view They have also their own uh, explanation If you, for example People don't realize it, but if you have a big safe, right? This is this is based on a certain understanding, that Your safe is filled with money. You know, every day you keep money transacting, and it cross. The money is not going to stay stay still, you know. The money is going to go, go out, out, out going more. This one you must make sure Bank Negara doesn't sit on the line one. What knocks on Bank Negara? Uh. Otherwise the money all go out. Uh. Yeah, through uh, KLSE. Uh. But this is, this is uh, to the edge uh, mm. of understanding. But what they're doing is the daily, daily effect. Stress is very important, much more important than we ever realized. Uh. You see, uh, there's always a baseline stress for everybody. What is baseline stress for you is different from me, you see? I see. Uh, suppose for me, a little bit I jump. My baseline stress is very high up. Yeah. And for you, if you take it, uh, you can take the more stress. Then it will not affect your health so much, you see? I see. Mm. Stress uh, then is related to fear. If you constantly have too much stress, yeah, and you have fear coming in, fear will drive a lot of other emotions. The anger is one of them. And with this type of negative uh, emotions, he will create a lot of uh, other e negative effects. Uh, okay? And uh, I can give you a longer list of, uh, of uh, critical illnesses that's caused by this stress. Right? So the idea is, uh, in peak performance, the stress level should be low. The, 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 the benchmark. Uh, the, what you the, the baseline. The baseline. Uh, whatever the baseline is. Mm. That means they should try to minimize the stress. Uh. So there are activities. Uh, activities such as dancing uh, and uh, what do you call it? Uh, you have uh, food, nutrition, exercise and meditation uh, among the among the lots uh, uh, that reduces the daily stress uh, the daily effect of stress on, on the person so uh, first thing first we identify the blockages reduce it identify the stress factors reduce it and keep it low all the time uh, and then have how to handle the stress if you can handle stress then you will not be affected so much by the negative uh, effects right? uh, doing these three things first uh, will prepare the person for peak performance Peak performance is not much different from the fact that you remove all the block all the baggages on you. You know? All the baggages on you. When you say the baggages from previous 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 life, previous uh, job, previous marriage, etc. These are baggages which we carry around with them every day. And uh, tire them out. When I remove these blockages, remove these uh, stress factors and uh, manage it well every day, you have actually uh, released a lot of energy for, for your work and life. True?
Yep. Mm. So the energy is actually being spent handling all these blockages. The, huh? Yes, blockages and stress. So you remove the blockage, the energy goes somewhere more productive. Huh? Correct. And in channel daily like that, huh? uh, you can do things like I myself wake up in the middle of the night and start writing articles regularly, you know. Mm. Uh, at, at the age of 70, I can jump out of bed. Yeah? There's something really, you see. So, uh, this is, so it's not just simply like input something into the body and the mind and it becomes Superman. You must first remove those things that are that halang, that, 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 that blocks, obstructs the body from performing well first. Yeah. That's why I call it Maslow's secret. Abraham Maslow, right? Uh, he has left a secret, and that is the man who is in contact with his inner self. And contact with the inner self to the right channel. That means if he's an artist, he should be drawing, he should draw art. If he's a pianist, he should play piano uh, and so forth. If he's born to be that, that, that. Okay? We have to draw out the giant from within through this, this way. Which is another explanation, long, long explanation later. La. But at this moment, let's let you know, in part of my uh, training, the people will be drawn into the, will be connected with the uh, inner self. Inner, inner self lies the, the, a lot of secret of the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Okay.